Hey guys, how we doing? Devin with Sticks and Stories here, uh, bringing you another cigar review. Uh, today we are going to do the Padron 1926, number 6, so it's slightly smaller to Tola. It's going to be 4 and 3 quarter inches by 50 ring gauge. And you guys know how we feel about Padrones over here. There's just kind of a set it and forget it style cigar, an old reliable basically. Uh, you can never go wrong. Uh, this is a 10 box, very nice box. And as you can see, I did smoke one already, but that's all right. Um, the 1926 series, absolutely delicious cigar. Uh, great looking box. Um, got these guys. I honestly, I'm not really sure what, how much I paid for these because I got them, I got a steal for these guys. Some Maduro, Nicaraguan Puro, through and through, binder wrappers, fillers. And man, is it ever just a good looking smoke. Absolutely gorgeous, as always. Dark, peppery, chocolatey, Nicaraguan classic tobacco. It's got that distinct, awesome smell, as you know. Box pressed, if per usual. <clears throat> Let's go smoke it. Alright guys, we're coming in the first third here, and so far... Per usual, it's impeccable. Padrones always are. I always love how Tim Tim and Cigars Daily is always like, I've never had a bad Padron. It's true. Guy makes me laugh. But uh, I've never smoked a bad Padron, guys. The 1926 series, absolutely delicious. Comes off pedal to the metal, dark Nicaraguan tobacco. It is the 1926 to commemorate Jose Padron's. 75th birthday, I believe. I've also heard before that it's a limited release as far as there's 100,000 available a year. I don't think that's true, though. Don't quote me on that. If that is true, someone drop a comment if you know. That would be nifty. I don't know. I think there's a lot of these around. I don't think this is necessarily a limited quantity cigar, but... Um, Sorry if you can hear the dogs. The kids are just getting home from school. So, long story short, this guy, I would say the cold draw was a little bit of cinnamon raisin, a little bit of cocoa with pepper, and the first third is definitely dark cocoa, pepper. Classic Nicaraguan tobacco. Kind of has that raisiny, cinnamon raisin touch to it black pepper cocoa and uh we're gonna keep smoking guys we'll see you in the second third all right so we're pretty well and almost through the second third actually this is like i said a shorter smoke it's kind of the time of year that we're starting to think about smaller vitola smaller platform cigars in general as winter comes if you're in new england or wherever you're at if you don't have winters and that good for you but you start to kind of get that development of the light leather coming in, the oakiness of it. Um, still have a lot of chocolate, a lot of cocoa. So spicy on the retro. Whew. Black pepper. Very good, though. Not in a bad way. Very good. That's what you'd expect out of a Nicaraguan Puro like this. Absolutely spicy, delicious tobacco. Like I said, cocoa, cedar little bit of light cedar, a little bit of light oak wood, chocolate, a little bit of leather starting to come into the picture, a little bit of leather coming into the picture is good. It's very, very consistent throughout. The subtle changes are phenomenal, and it just has a perfect draw. What's there bad to say about it, like usual, when it comes to a cigar like this? Um, also wanted to touch on last video with the pairing, uh, the champagne pairing with the uh, Monte Cristo number two, the short. I'm not going to do that anymore because I want to keep it fair across all the platforms. I don't want anything to enhance or take anything away or add anything to a cigar review. I'm not going to retract that view or the score because I, I'm very good at fairly pairing something and fairly rating a cigar. So I'm not going to take anything away from that. Um, but I won't do that going forward, to be honest with you. Like something like this, I'm having a Kona Big Wave 
with it that's a different story this cigar i don't think there's anything that <laughs> that this cigar won't trample on your palate uh which is a good thing um it's a phenomenal so i'll get back to you guys one more time but like i said those are the tasting notes right now and very flavorful the smoke output is perfect the draw is phenomenal never have really a problem with a box press some people disagree with that but i don't just good well guys unfortunately <clears throat> this cigar is about done for and it was a beauty per usual exactly what we expected there goes my ash so in the end what do we got guys what do we got so stayed consistent i apologize the neighbors mowing his lawn there's we don't have enough clout to shut them down unfortunately i don't have the heart to do that either but uh so you're going to get that in the background. I apologize for that. But the cigar is great, guys. If you have a chance to pick one up, grab one. The 1926, it, if it feels through the review like it's a little bit harsh for you, a little bit spicy, a little bit too full body because this is a full flavored all day long cigar, then they do make a natural as well. They don't have to go with the Maduro. Um, you just get a lot more chocolate notes. And But if you go with a natural, there's some different flavors there, and it'll tone back a little bit of what this cigar has to offer. So at the end of the day... You still want that chocolate it comes through the retro so nicely guys spicy black pepper oaky cedar chocolate earth a little earthiness came into it with the leather on the back end um really ramps up in that last second to the last third so that's that's phenomenal guys we're gonna be 95 points on this today i think that's really fair i know we give a lot of high scores on this channel but we smoke phenomenal cigars here that's what this is all about um, and I want to say too that if you're here because you like the pairings and stuff like that I'm not saying we're never going to do pairings anymore I just mean not with a review But we'll still grab something and we'll put something together I know some of you probably would love to see a, We can get the Blantons out, the single barrel We can do the Old, old Forester 1920s, fantastic bottle um, If you're kind of newer to whiskey or, But you got a little bit of a bankroll uh, The Woodruff Reserve Double Oaked you will not find a better double oak in my opinion that brings on the oaky and the cherry and things like that so i'd really like to grab a davidoff colorado claro shore perfecto is really on my radar right now we grab one of those and we'll do a review and we'll do something with them you know like i said we can grab a lands we can grab something fun um yeah so that's a review guys 95 points all day long grab one i recommend it highly to you and uh thanks for joining me today on sticks and stories we'll see you on the next one